It was early and Lord Zabel was busy doing his morning things. Lighting candles around the castle and putting books back where they belong. He has a few magic books that wander the hallways through the night. They can certainly startle you as you turn the bends and twists of the lower hallways. He often says some magic is hard to keep still. He has a little sense of humor that perhaps he finds more amusing than others, but it doesn't seem to stop him from telling a joke or two. He's rather intense when it comes to the art of magic and is always eager to weigh in on the topic of anything related to the fine art of spell casting and conjuring things from thin air. It's obvious why his reputation precedes him, as his knowledge is second to none. It's said that below the lower tower there is a room filled with books that he's memorized and that the room so large you could fit a trillion dragon in it. It's a joke of course. If you don't know, a trillion dragon is a mythical beast the size of a mountain. There is a temple in Remrod entirely built from fragments of trillion dragon bones. And the entire city of Remrod sits on the only partial skull ever found of a trillion dragon. Let's just say Zabel's mind is a lot like an internal library and he often boasts about his ability to remember everything he reads and hears. He often taps his temple as you speak to him, which is his way of acknowledging that he is retaining your words and placing them in one of his internal chambers of his memory. I almost forgot to mention Skylark, a fangler that Zabel found in the hills above Bok when he was young. Fanglers are wonderful companions who live a very long time and have been known to be incredibly loyal to their masters. To the point of even starving themselves to death upon the passing of their keepers. They also are quite lovable and playful although I wouldn't let their cute pointed ears and tender nature fool you, they may have the heart of a lion and even resemble them at times, but they have the appetite of a dragon and the claws and teeth to match its temper. Fanglers are highly intelligent as well. They come from the same class of predatory mammals as the smaller and more common liger, but are much more rare, and are three times the size. Skylark is a castle fangler who's been away from the dangerous hillsides above Bok for some time. The most adventure she gets these days is chasing Zabel's magic books around the towers into the wee hours of the night. Occasionally Zabel lets her out to roam the hillsides which is good for her. And sometimes she comes back with cuts and scrapes and tattered hair and bloody teeth behind a sneaky fangler grin. She needs that. Don't we all? Sometimes she comes back with other things. Which brings me to Ezra. Ezra came from a rather unexpected litter of three. She was born just about the time I arrived at the towers. It's not known how Skylark became pregnant with three fanglers but we suspect it happened on one of her hillside adventures. Sometimes I think Ezra looks for her father in the hills, I just sense it. She was barely walking when I arrived at the castle. Zabel tells me that the moment she saw me she instantly dragged herself over to me and fell asleep on top of me. I don't recall the event but I often hear about it as I could hardly breathe. And Zabel found it quite amusing that Ezra left the safety of Skylark to investigate me so quickly. I also hear about how my eyes were glowing as Ezra approached. I was a little scared of Ezra at first apparently. Ezra has slept with me ever since. I didn't have much control over my tattoos then. They seem to almost act on their own, which still comes in handy as it's almost like they can tell the future or see things that are unseen to my own eyes, giving me a strange warning of what's to come or what they fear could happen. It's funny that some people still associate sight with eyes when really there's so much more going on to be seen and felt without eyes at all. At least that's what Sebel is showing me and what I've been learning all these years. Ezra and I have become quite close over the years and I really can't imagine being without her anymore.
Oh well, just some words I felt like penning this morning. I'm off to bog for supplies and some raven's feet. Ezra seems to have eaten all of Zabul's stock and I would hate for him to reach for the empty bottle in the midst of one of his crazy potions ideas only to find the empty bottle turn over with fangless lobby dripping from the rim. I can hear him now. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra he Ezra. would say and the hallways would answer back. back, back, back. Ezra, 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 Ezra.